City manager Ravel Frank regrouped with NCDC engineers and experts on Sunday discussing Saturday's unprecedented rain and flood. A quick catchment analysis was made for the possible causes of the flood. There were several reasons that was found to be the cause of the flooding. The meeting also included the consultancy of a Papua New Guinean hydrology expert based in Brisbane. He advised that the downpour occurred over two hours in high intensity, therefore the impact was massive and unprecedented. He stated that there was no well-designed drainage system that would have stood that volume of water. The pit openings could not capture the amount of surface flow that Port Moresby experienced, and there were too much flow. Other reasons included climate change effect and higher rainfall intensities. Other causes include poor community behaviors, sanitation and hygiene causing blockages to the drainage system. Fridges, washing machines, tires and other household items were found in the culverts, and large amounts of waste, silt, why husks and plastics were found to be thrown into the drains, including uncollected wastes. National weather forecaster Peter Warupi confirmed that rain intensity was the main reason for the flooding. Saturday's rainfall measured 145.8 millimeters for over three hours. It was above the average rainfall data. April is also the month for monsoon rains. The city experienced flash floods everywhere. The most affected areas were Jackson's Airport, Ohola, 8 Mile and Malolo Estate. The city manager said he will engage experts to do the hydrology, audit the drainage network, develop the proposed solutions. He said NCDC will take immediate action to rectify the situation. The authorities have scaled up the cleaning and unblocking of the drains. 26 have been identified, including Hohola. NCDC will also work with the NAC to resolve the issue of the collapsed bridge at 8 Mile, including Malolo Estate. Frank also added that they will simultaneously start work on another three locations out of the 26 hotspots as soon as the notice period to those who encroached on the drainage reserves are demolished. NCDC would like to remind its city residents to exercise caution when driving on wet roads and carefully or refrain from driving through flood water. Plan your journey ahead of time. Allow extra travel time. Adhere to all signs. Jasmine Nero, TV1 News.